ladies and gentlemen and boys and the girls and the and all kinds of folks, grandpas, old men, little kids, middle-aged men, and everyone else. You're all, uh, we're all here. I don't think Witch's Vengeance is that great and limited. I think that the variety of creatures is too much, and you're also going to, like, um, I was praying to the Oko gods, too. It did not happen. You're also going to get too many situations where, like, it kills, like, two of your guys and three of theirs, and you're just like, eh. I think one of these is is definitely the the course of action. Ed, Edgewall Innkeeper first pick is pretty nice because you can just start to you can just dictate how you uh how you want the draft to go. You can just start taking all the adventure guys. Uh, Beanstalk Giant is also just great, but I think I think Secret Keeper. Nah, you just don't get enough Secret Keepers on Magic Online. I think we're gonna take the edge the Innkeeper here. Oh, a Falmire Knight. Interesting. I like. I think I like Falmire Knight with Innkeeper better than I like Okam Adversary. I'm gonna take Falmire Knight. And if if either, it's not gonna happen. But if either Falmire Knight or the uh, the Beanie Boy come back, we're good to go. G two G, as the kids say. Okay, Garen Brig Paladin. Reaper of Night. It's okay. I think Reaper of I think Garen Brig Paladin is just a much better creature, even despite the edge wall innkeeper. So I'm gonna take that. I don't think it's actually that close. Man, that last 3-0 was pretty sweet. Ooh, Deathless Knight? And we're going black green? You shouldn't have. Come on, Magic Online, you shouldn't have. Reef Soul over Deathless Knight? Shoot. Shoot. Now this pack's pretty rough. <laughs> we got like one of these two guys. My buddy's HR room has a post that says, The good news is, that was funny. The bad news is, you're fired. Not sure if that applies here, though. But I thought I'd bring it up to lighten the mood. I seem to be a bit slow on the bandwidth. Hey. That's good. That's good, though. Oh, Giant Skier with Deathless Knight is pretty good. Oh, uh, Forboding Fruit, though. I just like Forboding Fruit better. I actually thought this was Tempting Witch, and I was like, Oh, I don't want a Tempting Witch. But actually, Forboding Fruit, I'm much more uh, inclined to take. I'll take the... The adventure creature. Tempting Witch is also good. Stop with the hate speech. Wow. Wow. Is this what it's like in California? You just have to be like this all the time? Tempting Witch, Foreboding Fruit. These look these look way too similar. I don't actually dislike Tempting Witch. I think it's growing on me. As a California board person, I'd say yeah. <laughs> California is actually one of my favorite states, legit. Like I I I keep looking for uh, an opportunity to live in California. A spider is kind of an asshole. I'm gonna take the 1-3 though. I think the 1-3 is just better here. Oh wow, there's the skewer. There's the skewer we're looking for. 
So there's the skewer we're looking for. Okay, we did it. Oh, another Garen Break. I don't actually love this card, but with Edgewall Innkeeper, I think it's fine. Festive funeral. I don't. I don't think this card's great, but you'll never have a reason to be here until you move here. Well, no, I mean like a job or something though. Like a job is a reason to be there, right? I would love to stream from LA. It's not really an option now because. Uh, I'm just gonna take the rare. Your job, but yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about getting a job, like getting a job at a company where I don't have to stream, you know, five days a week. However, one of my one of my go to jobs is Blizzard, so that's convenient. Wow, no one wants and it's sad because it's actually not terrible. It's still a one two flying lifelinger. That shuts off some things. Uh don't you know Brawl started and there's official Pioneer Cues? Uh yes, I do actually know about the Pioneer Cues. I played some last night. Um but there's not there's not Pioneer queues on Arena, right? So, like, we're going to have to be doing something on MTGO. So, I don't think it's a... <gasps> pretty, 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 pretty good. I mean, I would love to take in this Worthy Knight because we have really good, really good luck with the Worthy Knights. But, you know, too bad, I guess. <sighs> I think it's just Garenbrig Paladin number two. Because there's literally nothing else in this pack. These cards are great. Not our color. Shambling Suit sucks. Fell the Pheasant's nice, but I'm not going to take it over a Garen Brig Paladin. I just want one or two Rose Thorn Acolytes, Shut and I literally never get them, ever. What was the noise you just made? You heard it. It was like, it was kind of like a... <laughs> kind of like that. Kind of like a... Like a... Kind of like a little girly giggle. Bognati is sweet. Especially we got this Tempting Witch, we got this Giant Skewer. Solid. Oh, another, here's an OK Adversary for Oh, here's a Rose Thorn Acolyte for us. Shit. This is actually a decently tough pick. I'm actually going to take the Acolyte. I really want to be able to play Troll King or Garen Big Paladins uh, off curve. That is, it's a Troll King mating call. I didn't want to brag about it, but I'm kind of uh, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a Troll Kingologist, so it's it's kind of a it's just kind of a thing I do. God, okay, my adversary though, so good. Also, you know, Rose Thorn Acolyte, we do have Edgewall Innkeeper, so just a nice little bonus there. Wicked Guardian can hit this, this, uh, not those, these guys, you, you. Eh, it's not terrible. I don't think we want another five drop here. I can see taking Lash of Thorns, but we do have two pump spells. I actually... Uh, Forever Young is not terrible with Troll King, actually. When we actually have creatures that we want to get back with it. Yeah, I can see that. I can also see just taking Swarcap Spider. We also have, like... Oh, Return to Nature. I like Return to Nature over Fell the Pheasant. I think it's just more useful. Um, and it is definitely a card I like having at least one of. Garen Brick Squire. We're playing adventures. We want two drops. I'm game. This pack is terrible. I want to deny someone a run away together, I guess. I want to have one return and one Felda Pheasant in my sideboard. At all times. this land of the dead <laughs> oh man good times <sighs> 
Okay, this is way too many Garen Brig Carvers. I'm gonna take it anyway, cause like, why not? But it's just too many. Um, so tiny. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, yeah, I think a locked Wayne Paladin. Oh, spider is actually playable. Uh, do I want Lash when you have three Garenberg Carvers? I don't know. We already have a Locked Wing Paladin. Yeah, I'll just take Lash. Lash can help your small guys kill their big guys. See, this is a tough pick now. Thank you. Oh, what just happened? Everything is terrible. Welcome back. I'm really glad. Oh, Sammy gifted the... Ever <laughs> Sammy, thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. Really appreciate you, Sammy. Oh, man. And there has been balance again. It's either Falmire or Trello Crumbs. Trello Crumbs is so good. But Falmire Knight... And so the debt is paid. Oh man, what an emotional roller coaster this was. I think it is actually Falmire. <gasps> Alan Beck, what's going on, my dude? Long time no see, friendo. Oh god. I'm gonna take the. Oh, epic downfall. Ooh, that's nice. That's an easy pick. Oh, man. Another Beanstalk or a Falmar? Gotta be Beanstalk. Gotta be Beanstalk Giant here. It's basically just a Rose Thorn Acolyte. Oh, yeah. That's great. Maybe the Falmar Knight comes back? Probably not. What's it like being the only green drafter? You know, I don't want to brag. I'm going to take this pal down here. Uh, giant opportunity? How good are you? Castle Lockdwain is interesting here. I mean, if we have no cards in our hand, or even like one card in our hand, it's probably better than giant opportunity, right? I don't think we have a ton of ways to make food. I'll just take the good land. That good, good land. Oh! Oh. 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 Kenrith Transformation also not terrible here. So how are we looking on... On adventures here that are going to get doubled? Acolyte, Beanstalk Giant. Decent? Seven so far? I'll take a Kenrith transformation. Do we like Cabin over Kenrith transformation? Hmm. I like the transformation better. Oh, Flaxen Intruder? Wow, this is looking great. Oh yeah, Flaxen Intruder is fantastic. Can we Lucky Clover into Flaxen Intruder and make six bears? I want to take this Secret Keeper. Now I'm going to take this counter spell. I'm not going to play Lost Legion. Our deck is pretty much done. But that's because I like Gingerbread, not because I know if the card is the right pick. Wow. Well, I appreciate I appreciate that honesty. Do we have any knights that we carry back? I, always, I keep wishing this was a knight. These are warriors. This is a berserker. This is a berserker. We can get Falmire Knight back. 
Garen bring Paladin back, so that's four cards. Uh, this guy we can get back if we don't happen to have life. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to take the Apatite. Uh, I'm going to take the Barrow Witches. Like, we already have three Garen Brig Carvers and a Lash of Thorns. I don't think we necessarily need another Pump Spell. Appetite with Troll is pretty good. What is that, like 12,000 damage? I'm just going to take another Spore Caps Fire. Festive Funeral. Festive Funeral. True Love's Kiss. And this looks like the deck. Pretty okay with it. Three Garen Brig Carvers and a Lash of Thorns is a lot of tricks, but these guys are also just creatures. Uh, yeah, alright. We could cut one Carver for a Kenneth Transformation. I mean, I want to go turn two Clover into either Falmire Knight or uh, Beanstalk Giant. We can also go turn three Rose Thorn Acolyte to net one mana, so we make two mana. We'll have four. We can cycle one of these guys, adventure them, draw two, and then play it. That's pretty good. <sighs> I wonder if we want Kenner's Transformation over anything else in this deck. I don't think so. I'm like it's I mean I'm tempted to play play it over like one Garen Brig Carver, but I don't think that's necessary. Do we care about Witch's Cottage? I don't think so. I mean it does give us a way to get our Troll King back. We already have Forever Young. Unfortunately, this is not a swamp. But, I mean, I think this is actually just fine. 7 8, so this is 9 8. I think we have to err on the side of green because of Troll King. We also have Acolyte to make green. We have Beanstalk Giant to go get swamps. I think it's just fine. I think we want to maximize the number of Troll Kings we play. Cutting a carver for a return of nature actually seems fine. I don't think that's terrible. Um, well, it's kind of like we drew it up, I guess. We just have to hit one land? Oh, yes. If we hit one land, we can go beanstalk into Troll King. Wow, that's gas. Yeah, it's J.R.R. Troll King. <laughs> good times. Good times. Let us have this. This one thing. Come on, we can do it. I believe in us. It is Wednesday, my dudes. I actually have not played Untitled Goose Game yet. Oh, wow. That's rude. Alright, land one time. Come on, one land. Come on, one land. <sighs> yep, you got it. Come on. It's been Wednesday since last Tuesday. That's true. That's true. Hey, man, I don't make the space-time continue, okay? Land. No times, apparently. 
Can you imagine we could have went Beanstalk Giant, search for two lands? We did want it too bad, it's true. Okay, I don't care about any of this. Okay, actually, if we draw land here, I think we're actually fine. Okay, we did it. Why not draw with Falmire? Because it costs three. And as soon as I have three mana, I'd rather ramp twice than draw two cards. Because we already played a land, so we go to like 8,000 cards. Unless you meant... Unless you just thought Falmire costs different. Where are the friggin' lands, man? Where are my lands at, my dudes? Wait, this makes two mana, doesn't it? Oh, that's nice. Green. Okay. Good, 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 green. Okay, we're doing it. I think we're actually fine. I think they're gonna bounce this guy to our hand next turn. But then we get to play Troll King. I guess we'll get rid of Giant's Skewer. Actually, Forbidding Fruit probably doesn't seem like something we're going to be doing much of. I don't think we're going to really need extra cards this game for some reason. If we, if we hit a land, actually, we can still go double... Double Flax and Intruder, which is pretty nuts. What are they doing? Oh, no land. Okay. I mean, do we want to cast Troll? Like, into, five, into six untapped mana? Seems a little rough. I'm not thrilled about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have didn't say please. Green. Green again. Thank you. Johnny the Force, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Okay, you just have infinite turnado pumpkins or Ha! <laughs> Fuck. Oh god. Well, that's a thing, alright. I 
Vegas. That's a thing. Charmed sleep. Fascinating. That was an interesting choice. I mean, we're just dead, right? They attack for seven unblockable. And then they tempting witch to kill us. Yeah, we're just going to concede here. Yep. I mean, I feel like if we if they just didn't have the inevitability of that guy, we would actually have this on lockdown. I think Kendra's transformation is actually probably decent here. To shut that idiot down. Epic Downfall, also pretty good, which they put in our graveyard, and we cannot get back with Forever Young. Oh, like Return to Nature in case we get rid of it? Yeah, actually, Return to Nature is probably just good. And get rid of Forever Young, I think. Probably get rid of one Garen Brick Carver. Actually, I like Forever Young better than Giant Skewer here. Let's go. I think I like uh, Paladin better than Spider in this matchup. Wow. This hand's rough. This hand's even worse. Okay. Two lands, I'll keep it. Bognani can go. I don't really want to put Feasting Troll King on the bottom. I'm just gonna get rid of these two. I mean Feasting Troll King is super ambitious, but like I'd rather just not have it in the in the in the bottom of the deck when we have very few ways to shuffle it or get it out. What the hell? Uh Yep, no blocks. You can mill me for one whole card with your eye collector. Lucky Clover would have been interesting, but not necessarily. I mean, if the next card is Bean Giant. Okay. No blocks. Alright, well. Our deck isn't doing anything, which is sad because it does a lot of things. <laughs> I 
feel like these are in some pretty unfortunate draws, but... They have six cards to our two cards. Oh, it didn't say please. That's good to know if we ever make it to a game three. I'm just casting this. I don't love it, but... This one for one milling we're doing here is pretty interesting. Oh, Deathless Knight? That's pretty decent, actually. I guess we're cracking this food token now. Man, they just drew me a card. Pleasantly surprised. Could have also played Garen Brig Carver to uh, to draw a card. Hmm, let's take five here. Why do you have five cards in here? You're not doing anything. This is all very weird. They just didn't do anything. So they have Locked Wayne Serpent again? I don't know, probably. Unless they mill it right here. Watch, we're going to mill it. Ready? Oh, there's a land. No Ash of Thorns. Interesting. Try again. Try, try again. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't care who you eat. That's okay. I mean, there's no reason not to kill the 1 4 for our 1 2. Especially when we have Forever Young in the deck and we can just get him back, so. And considering they tapped out, we probably should have pumped this guy. Oh, no, this was blocked, wasn't it? It was probably blocked by this guy. So, maybe not. They still have five cards in hand. What are the odds they have another Lock Mirror Serpent? Okay, they just took two. Interesting, we drew another one. Resolve. Land. Alright, now we're actually looking decent. We do need two more. What up, Chris? I have to use the bathroom, so I tried to pause you. Pausing really doesn't work well. That's true. That's a true story. This eye collector is like, all right, I'm out. What is going on? What do they have? Boop. 
You gonna just counter this? Festive funeral. Yeah, that guy's just dead, right? Just don't draw a card. Totally fine. Actually, we'll just attack with this, and then we'll just play Beanstalk Giant. Hmm. No, didn't say please. They're like, wow, they didn't get a swamp when they could have played that Falmire Knight with the swamp. Aldrin's Gift. Sure. What do you even get back? 1-4? One, 1-3? One, I mean, you can't get this back, so you literally have like, yeah, 2-5? Two, two, Alright, that's fine. Have you considered for a moment that they have nothing? No, I have not considered that because that seems contrary to my... my, my usual experience. What is this? Five, six, seven, eight? This guy. Okay, resolve. And that seem good, huh? We're going to keep up Return to Nature. And Garen Brig Paladin, I guess. Oh, this is also like, what, six damage? Lose three, lose three, lose three. nine damage. Rather, I don't know how I don't know how math works. Blah, 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 blah. I guess we're hoping that this guy does not get epic confrontation, epic downfall. We hope this guy doesn't fall down. Is what we're saying here. Don't fall down. Are you milling again? No? You're just like, nah, I'm good. I don't need to do all that nonsense. Get busy trolling. You know what? These are all fine. JT! Sorry I missed the, the Wall Talk podcast last night. I have no idea what that even means. What the f What are you saying right now? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really uh, appreciate it. You know, this is fine. Are they going to bounce this and brazen? Pe what a petty thief. What's that card even go for right now? I'm curious to see how jealous I should be. 12 tickets. Get out of here. Are they going to bounce this so we get just more food? Interesting. Neither of these guys have reach, right? Despite being humongous. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, we have six food. <laughs> There's 18 life on board. So, you know, I feel okay about that. I just heard you talking about favorite walls on your on YouTube. Favorite walls? Oh, we were talking about the walls, weren't we? We were talking about our favorite, favorite walls. Whatever that means. It is Wednesday, my dudes. This guy can't block. Why are you holding back? Don't hold back. Don't think twice. Um, let's kill this so you can't draw a card here. You gotta let go. What happened to Wednesday isn't your... What happened to Wednesday? 
Christopher, I'll never let it go. It is Wednesday. Frogify? Oh, come on. That's interesting. That is something. I mean, we can just kill them with this, right? I mean, this is a good amount of, uh... Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this Troll King is just unblockable now. I mean, unfortunately for them, not for us. So what is it? It's number of cards in your graveyard, and you have 14, so even if you get this guy, plus 2, plus 2. Yeah, alright. He dead. Yeah, there's no way they're blocking that frog. Don't block that frog, dude. Go to nine. Ooh, forever young. I want to be forever young. You can stay home. I was tempted to put transformation on this. Oh, they're just dead. Okay. I guess we do get a game three after all. Spore cap actually seems better now. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. I mean, we have to dealt with Lockmire Serpent twice so far, so. Let's try not to deal with it three times. I should have went to the bathroom before this round. I'm like, I'll just do that after this after this match. Because I can pause the recording, my dudes. Yikes. This hand is just bad. I'll keep this hand. Let's put... I'm gonna put the bog naughty on the bottom because I think if we can get to seven, this is just better. We also have no food in our hand, so. Also, this two, three, four, if we hit lands, is actually very, very good. We're doing it. We're living the dream. 
And then we get to draw two, so our odds of hitting. Okay, well, that's really good. This is a great opening. Wow. Even if they have didn't say please, we still get to draw a card, which is still pretty good. And if they don't have that, we get to draw two cards. Um, I don't have any reason to do this at at on their turn. It just gives us them an, it just gives them another opportunity to uh, counter our. And now we have the lands for the witch's cottage. Personally, I call six bears popping up out of nowhere unlucky, but I'm not a bear lawyer or anything. That's true. I appreciate that you acknowledge you are not a bear lawyer, but uh, I do actually agree with you. So if we combine our our both of our amateur bear knowledge together. Um, I think it's actually pretty good. Hmm. Seems okay. Yep, get that one mil in there. God, I'm actually glad I didn't draw that. That's garbage. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. Rose Thorn Acolyte would be great, because then we can go Rose Thorn Acolyte into Flax and Intruder, which would be pretty sweet. Them also just not having Lockmere Serpent would be great, too. Charmed Sleep? That's just rude. What am I doing for Halloween? Nothing. I'll actually be in Baltimore for Halloween, interestingly enough. Garenberg Paladin? I might just want to draw that, actually. Because we don't have a 5 drop right now. It's a sorcery. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can't draw that right now, unfortunately. Yeah, alright. Actually, if they counter this, I just want to Forever Young that. So I think we just wait a turn. We're not under any pressure here. They don't have Lockmere Serpent, as we can easily tell. And next turn, we're looking at six bears. At the most, three bears. At the least, three bears. Unless they play something for four mana here. I know a guy who studied Bird Law, so he may be able to help. Is Bird Law similar to uh, Bear Law? Is there what's the what's the overlap there? What's the the Venn diagram of bird lawyers to uh Okay. To bear lawyers. Are you gonna get rid of my Falmire Knight and just attack for four? Oh I see. You just wanna draw a card. I got you. I understand you. Okay, they don't have oh boy, we're just gonna make bears all day. So many bears, dude. Oh god, it's gonna be glorious. Mm -hmm. 
That's a lot of bears. Can you see all my The nice thing is this has to die almost because they don't want to they don't want to trade for this, so. Fly me to the bears and do 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 I wow. That's a good hit for us. That's a bad hit for you. I'm okay with it. Also, Carver lets us trade with the Enchanted Carriage. Where I think we're in a really good spot here. Oh yeah, the eight bears meme. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, foreboding fruit, and we can get the uh, all of you guys, and you can stay home, my friend. They're at ten. Oh wow. Oh, we can also just two them? Oh, that's pretty sick. That is pretty oh, sick. Okay, we're crewing. What is this? Two, four, six, eight? So we also get to target one of our other bears as well. They have five cards and 7,000 mana untapped. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the gifted sub and for hanging out. Always appreciate you, my dude. Is it possible they have nothing? No, they definitely have something. Petty theft ba wait, what? Okay. They have to have another thing or else they're dead, right? Okay, they do. Okay, that guy can't block. And we're already past blocks. What's happening right now? Did they just kill themselves? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. All right. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to use the restroom. If you're watching on YouTube, you probably won't even notice. All right, we are back. Welcome back. Let's see if we can keep it going. I'm gonna keep this because any one land lets us play Acolyte. And then I do want this Troll King to come on down. And if we hit two lands in a row, we can actually play a Paladin into it. Troll King, which would be sick. Okay. Have no incentive to play that guy without just drawing a card. Oh, wow. I see what you're doing here. Come on, really? How are, we, how are we missing third lander up in so many games when we have, like, literally game-breaking three-mana requirements? Like, okay, they didn't do anything. Okay, now we're, now we're talking. I think it's still Acolyte here. It could be old Beanie Boy. I'm going to play the Acolyte. Because if we happen to draw Lucky Clover, we can go Lucky Clover into Beanstalk Giant at some point, which is just better than Lucky Clover into Rose Thorn Acolyte. One, two, three, get a land. Well, 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 well. I guess we just attack here with double Garenbrig. Carver in hand. Get a third forest because we have Gabber Big Paladin. If anything happens to this, I want to make sure we can still cast these two. 
Like if they trap this in the tower or something, and I want to be like, well, we need two more forests instead of one. And we don't need double black for anything right now, so five mana. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're definitely... Oh, God, if we attack, though, we don't get to... Hmm, maybe we attack and just play Garenbrig Paladin here. There's no way they block, right? Because if they do have, like, Trapped in the Tower and they want to use it on this, that's much better than them using it on this. And we can still block their guy profitably. Trapped in the tower. Glass casket getting rid of Rose Thorn Acolyte. That's interesting. Trapped in the tower, this guy. We got two removal spells. <laughs> mm, okay. Fascinating. I'll take seven here, I guess. Oh, I got some treats to share. So it's going to be a 9-9. Nine, nine. Yikes. Hmm. Well, doesn't have to trample. Hmm. Well, now we have to block. <laughs> so... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I'll block. Hmm. One, two, three, four. And then we can just play Falmire and Flax Intruder. Man, if we drew a Lucky Clover, that'd be insane, and we could just win on the spot. I think we're just going to head for seven. Get back troll. Two, three. Play intruder. Play tempting witch. And so now we have lots of blockers, and they're also like dead to. These two, these two, we're just blocking here. <laughs> we're just hoping they don't have some, okay. Oh, you have Lucky Clover, so I guess we're just fucking dead. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, remember that time you worked really hard? Only have one critter in deck. I don't know what that means. You, I mean... Oh yeah, 
is the snap keep. All right, so we do need lands. Rose Thorn Acolyte would be nice. Make two mana, play. That's a dude, all right. Yep, and now we just get stuck. We're just gonna play Flax and Intruder to draw the card. Aggressive. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter how aggressive you are if your opponent never draws lands. <sighs> Turn five, we have missed two land drops with two five drops in our hand. Sure. Wow, this epic downfall is looking real sad right now. I'm not even sure I attack here. I don't know if I necessarily want to block this though and lose our edge wall innkeeper. I think we can actually attack. It's fine. Okay, so get this guy out of here, play a tempting witch, and no attacks. And if they have just tap our guys down as one of the two cards in their hand, then we're dead. I hear you like dogs, how you doing? I do like dogs, and I'm doing good. You just get to eat this? That seems insane. No, of course not. They have something. Oh, uh, of course. We do get a food. They have no cards in hand. Garen Brig Paladin is a good draw. A good play. We will go to one, but we have two food, so we just have to hope they don't top deck, I guess.
All right, no top deck. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. What can you do? I guess if they're going to draw that guy every single game. That's pretty good. Oh god, please don't. Oh god. Please leave. Why did you do that? Uh, what's my take on Pioneer? I think it's a pretty interesting format right now. I'm really enjoying it because it's not established, so you get to play a bunch of different interesting decks, and uh, they're not none of them are actually terrible. It feels like, so uh, it's kind of a cool experience. The format also seems varied enough, and, and it has a large enough card pool that the that the decks should be interesting and it should be powerful. But it's obviously not modern level powerful, which is nice because modern's really powerful. So. I think all in all I think it's good. I think it's a good uh it's a nice middle ground for a format between standard and modern. You know what? This hand is actually not great compared to what our deck is capable of doing. But I'm going to keep it anyway. Because I think it's got four lands. And uh, I've been hurt before. Magic Online, so. My only concern is I'll be revisiting the concept a midpoint format in a few years. Yeah, well, I mean, keep in mind. Uh, Modern is also eight years old now. And, uh, yeah, I think in eight years we might have to do it again. I think that's literally just how magic works. Like, you're not going to get to a point where, like, the cards don't stop coming, right? So, like, you're going to get, in eight more years, you're going to have eight more years of sets in Frontier, in Pioneer, right? So, it's just, I, I mean, that's not a concern of mine. That's literally, like, that's something that's inevitable, right? So, Making Frontier doesn't prevent you from having to do it in the future, or doesn't isn't it doesn't cause you to have to do it in the future. If you don't do it in the future, then Modern just has eight more sets. So it's like, yes, like Thanos. Inevitable like Thanos. Correct. But yeah, you just get to a point where the format's unsustainable and you just have too many people who are who can't actually play it. Thanos, isn't that the set coming out in January? Yeah, Thanos Beyond. Or Beyond Thanos or something. I'm actually just going to play this. Because if you equip this, it's like two more damage. Arena drafts are borked if you want competitive practice. I... Competitive practice? What does that mean? Oh, you're answering the question. Gotcha. Gotcha. See, now I feel silly about not just playing the stupid sport cap spider. 
Joke's on me, I guess. Oh, they didn't want to attack? Can I equip this guy and just bonk into you? I mean, I'm just going to get aggressive here if you want to let me. Oh, it's so tiny. They still took it? There's no one mana green card that can actually pump this guy, so that was a weird choice. You put your left foot in. Mad Ratter. I'm actually probably going to epic downfall that guy. Especially when they have Merchant here. That, that card is fantastic. Dear Lord. Sure. This is also fine. This guy can't block, and we can just put the giant skewer on this guy to deal seven. And then we can also play Tempting Witch, which puts them to a virtual four. I feel like we're in good shape, but I, I say that a lot. Okie dokie. That seems good. Is it good enough, though? Probably good enough. Wow, they like their three cards so much they didn't they they declined five separate loots. Uh land cast one, two, three, four, five, done. Beans and Oh, we get stolen by the Faymac. That seems very good. Play any creature. Yep, that's busted. Yep, definitely bring it in return to nature. Oh, you do not have an enchantment? Oh, you do. Wow. <sighs> yep, that's pretty good. Must be nice. Yeah, I was like, please, Alpha. Please don't be terrible. Got 
one, two, three blockers. We have one, two, three creatures. Wow, if they left one dude back, we could have actually... Stolen by the Fae, apparently steals fucking games. Alright, return to nature. Um, Festive Funeral actually probably seems okay to kill like some relevant creatures. I don't know how many cards we're going to have in our graveyard, but... Paladin actually seems decent, maybe better than one Carver. Man, congrats, JT. Uh, snap keep. And if we go on with turn four, we can actually play this into this, which is pretty good. If we hit another land, we did not. Seriously? That's cool. That's cool. Get that dude out of here. I was very much hoping that was going to happen. Land. No land, really? Do you have a second one? No. I'm just going to keep playing creatures here. We could have played this in anticipation of either hitting uh, Rose Thorn Acolyte or beanstalk giant which would have been nice or falmire knight so four cards we could have hit instead just this guy come on Giant would be great here because we can go Giant, get two lands, Garenbrink Carver, pump twice. Oh, that's fine. That is just fine. I feel like we're doing okay. You can stay back. Because I have to put double pumps on this guy for it to matter. Sure. 
sure. Oh boy, third deck is third deck is decent. Oh, they discard. I was like, what did they discard? They discarded the second one. Exhausting. Seems good. Yeah, their deck is really good. They also have Stolen by the Fae, which is pretty unbeatable. Here I thought our deck was very good. I think their deck is better. Unfortunately, this feels like an, a 1-2, which I did not expect. But that's life. If you guys want to support the channel, you can definitely check out patreon.com slash I don't have a ton of rewards on there, but it is a great way to support the channel for, yeah, of course, because <laughs> they never don't have it. Oh, man, for one or $2 a month, and then you can make situations like this just that much more bearable. Sure, I'll block with my guy. Solid attack. Um, I don't actually know how we could win this game. Didn't they already do that this game? I guess they did they Mystic Sanctuary it back. I guess. Either way, guys, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Show me that YouTube support. Why would you take one there instead of blocking? I don't understand any of these decisions. I have one black. I guess I guess I could have the plus two plus one. Is there anywhere I can support you? Maybe the page. I just Josh. I just said Patreon. Goodness gracious! But I appreciate you encouraging me to promote my myself. Oh, good, a third fairy vandal. Because of course that's what you need. Oh, into a tome raider. I don't, I don't actually know why you're, I don't know how you're, I don't, none of this makes any sense. Wait, what? None of this makes any sense. 
Remember that time we, we passed the the witches thing? The thing with the witch? We could name fairy. <laughs> neg three, neg three to everything. Yep. Pretty sure there's nothing we can do here. I have no idea why they didn't attack with more with more flyers. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. This is just a Yeah, even feasting troll king doesn't get out of get us out of this mess. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Really appreciate the support.